how significant is God forbid, knocking on wood, um, Elon's death? If if unexpectedly mm. something happens, you know, knocking knocking on wood, how big of a risk factor is this? That's a really good question. And again, Elon, if you're watching this, knock on wood, like we want you around until you're a million years old, bro. Like, yeah. go get some sun. Go get some sun, tan up a little <laughs> bit, like take care of yourself, bro. We love you. Like really go out there and take care of yourself. So right now, if something is so to say, Elon, something happens to Elon where he can't be at Tesla anymore. I think it will have a, I think it will have a significant impact today. I would say like, um, I would say there's a 50% chance that Tesla is not able to achieve its long-term goals and 50% chance that it will. Yeah. It, wow. it's, I think today it's pretty significant. But it's still, there's still a 50% chance that it, it, it can really achieve its, uh, what, what it needs. So it's still, it's even odds. And, and the only reason why I put even odds is because Elon is just such a, he, he's just uh, so great at pushing and ensuring that the culture of the company is, is really there. Yep. But for each year that, for each year that Elon's around, like, I would say like the percentage chance of Tesla being okay goes up 10%. So like say 2023. There, uh, there is a 60% chance Tesla is going to be okay. 2024, 70% chance. And then once bot and FSD are released, then it's 99, yeah. 90, you know, it, that's, then the company is fine because yeah. at that point, AI has taken over the world and yeah. It's a I story. robot. <laughs> yeah, exactly.